This NBA season has been nothing short of thrilling with jaw dropping buzzer beaters, 27 game winning streaks and untimely injuries. No question. Basketball is big. I'm Carmen Coffey and this is your sports update. And now I'm joined by Mike Conley. Mike, this Grizzlies team has broken the franchise record for most wins in a season. What were the key components to that? Uh, I think us getting off to a good start this season really helped out. Um, we played unbelievable in the month of November um, and it kind of set us up for the rest of the year. So. Hey, now you've had a surge in your offensive production. What's kind of been the spark for that? Uh, you know, there's been a number of reasons. Uh, I've been a lot more aggressive lately, but um, after trading Rudy, Rudy Gay uh, to Toronto, you know, we had to find some more guys that can, that can score. And, you know, I felt like I could be one of those guys on the perimeter to help our team um, in that category. Hey, now you mentioned the Rudy Gay trade. You guys have Tayshawn Prince in your lineup, similar to a Shane Battier, and you guys had lots of success two years ago beating out the Spurs. How does it feel to have Tayshawn on the lineup now? Well, he's been unbelievable for us, and uh, it's always great to have a guy with so much experience, somebody you can, you know, everybody looks up to uh, and respects around the league, um, somebody with great leadership, uh, you know, because we're playing in, in big games every night, and he's able to, to be there and make plays for us, uh, whether it's offensively or defensively, that we, pr we might not have had, you know, previously. Now you're going to be going up against Darren Collison tonight. He just recently sealed the deal in an overtime win against the Nuggets. How do you plan on stopping him? Uh, well, he's a very good guard. He's uh, you know very aggressive uh, in the full court, uh, both both defensively and offensively. He's quick and likes to push the tempo. Um, so if I can just you know stop him from getting to the paint a little bit, um, make him settle for outside jumpers, and uh, contest every shot I can, you know hopefully that'll do it. Thanks, Mike. Good luck tonight. And now I'm joined by Roy Hibbert. Roy, can you tell me what the loss of Danny Granger means to this team? Um, you know, Danny really hasn't been with us the whole year, so uh, we've been playing without him. We would have loved to have had him back, but, you know, um, I can't wait till he gets healthy again um, in next year and be ready to go again. Conversely, um, can you tell me about the contributions of David West to this team and his surgence as an all-star? Um, David has been doing a great job for us. He's been solid. He's our closer, tough physical presence, and um, you know I'm, I'm, he's helped my career out a lot by uh, just his presence here. Okay, and now you're known primarily for your defensive efforts. Most recently, with your double double, we see your offense game. Can you tell me about the development of your offensive game? Um, you know, it's had a little slow start at the beginning of the year, but. Uh, just in staying with it, just working hard after practice and um, putting a lot of time in so it can uh, develop. Now, tonight is a reunion of sorts with you and your former uh, teammate, Darren Collison. What does it mean to play against him today? I know he's pretty quick, really quick. He's a great guy. Um, but, you know, we're going to go out there and battle. So, um, you know, we're, we're both going to bring our A games, but, you know, we respect each other. And, and um, I'm sad to have seen him go, but uh, him as a player need to, to go somewhere else where he can, you know, man the ship some more. So he's a starting point guard. He's a starting caliber point guard. Now, speaking of your schedule, you guys have a very grueling schedule with some heavy hitters, both in the East and West, OKC, Boston, and the Knicks. How are you going to lead this team through these challenges? i um, just been playing the same way, just with my defensive effort and uh, being solid as possible and um, just, you know, playing hard. Thank you, Roy. Good luck to you. Major disappointment. That pretty much sums up this season for the Dallas Mavericks. For the first time in 13 years, the former champs are not making the playoffs. However, this summer may prove very eventful for Dallas if they throw their bid in for Dwight Howard or Chris Paul. I caught up with two Mavericks players as they continue to play with pride. And now I'm joined by Chris Kamen. Chris, you came to this team with large expectations, um, now officially not making the playoffs. What's next? Just finish the next four games as best we can. Try to get those wins and um, get ourselves back up to 500, and um, and just see what happens. You know, after that in the summer, there's a lot of moves that has to be made. Now tonight, you're going to be facing the Denver Nuggets. It's going to be a lot of activity with the big men. How are you preparing for tonight? 
Just, uh, you know, knowing last game we, we hurt, we got hurt on the, the rebounding in the glass, and so that's kind of a big thing we got to focus on tonight. And then making sure we're getting our guys back on defense. They like to push the ball a lot. They like to play a run and gun style. So um, just kind of those two areas are something we're really focused on. Okay. Thanks so much, Chris. No Dunk yeah. Good luck tonight. Thanks. And now I'm joined by Brandon Wright. Brandon, the Nuggets are coming off of a very impressive win with the San Antonio Spurs. How do you gear it for this game, especially facing a team that's peaking so critically in April? Well, they're playing well. There's no, uh, no doubt about that. They're playing really, really well. And, you know, we got to continue to play hard. And, um, you know, we had those guys in Denver that made a furious comeback on us to give them credit at the end of the game. But, you know, it's going to be a tough game for us, but we'll be ready for the challenge. Now, you've been a great force on the defensive end, and everyone's anticipating this being a very physical game. What can we expect from you tonight? Well, it's a lot of uh, great athletes on the other side. Uh, you know, high flyers, they can really run, they can really rebound. So, you know, we got to be ready for that challenge. Uh, you know, they hurt us on the boards in Denver. Uh, last week, so that's what we got to be ready for, number one. Okay, now you've been a key role player this year. Um, when you play extended minutes, the Mavs are 12 and 6. Can you tell me about any changes that you've made to your game since the beginning of the season? Oh, uh, you know, not at all. I just play ball, <laughs> do what I do best. Um, you know, get, when I get opportunities, make the best of them and just, you know, play hard. Well, good luck to you tonight and thank you so much, Brandon. Thanks for having me. That's it for sports. I'm Carmen Coffey. We'll be back with news right after the break.